For days, maybe weeks, you've been feeling extremely fatigued, without any idea of the cause. You've been watching your sleep, tracking it, and according to your sleep diary, nothing is out of the ordinary. So why are you so tired? You've been more prone to headaches, and your joints have been aching, but you've just chalked that up to overworking yourself on the job, even if it seems to leave you achier than normal. Your family suggests you go to the doctor, and you think on it for a week or two before finally giving in to yourself and making the call after you get a small cut while cooking that won't close quickly enough. You get to the doctor, and they recommend doing a few tests just to be safe, as you've had additional problems in the past. Before a diagnosis of this disease can occur, 4 out of 11 clinical and laboratory criteria must be met. Anti-nuclear antibody titer is a primary lab test that has a low predictive value in patients without typical clinical symptoms. As specified by the American College of Rheumatology, this titer should be obtained in only in patients with unexplained involvement of two or more organ systems. The tests were completed, and you came back positive for the immunologic disorder and anti-nuclear antibodies in addition to your hematologic disorder and arthritis. The doctors diagnose you with systemic lupus erythematosus. What can you do now? The course of treatment chosen to combat systemic lupus erythematosus depends on the severity of the disease. Here is a list of treatment options for mild forms. Treatment options for severe forms include this list as well as these additional treatments. The molecule 3UX9 contains the polymer interferon 113 on chains A and C and contains a human single chain antibody on chains B and D. Type 1 interferon alpha is a potential site for treatment on 3UX9 as it plays a critical role in the development of lupus. Human single chain antibody AIFN alpha 1B SCFV01 and its corresponding whole antibody AIFN alpha 1BIG. G01 to human interferon alpha-1b have been developed. The IgG antibody has the potential to downregulate the expression of ISG15 and IFIT1 induced by either recombinant IFN alpha-1b or naive IFN alpha from lupus patient sera. This has the potential to modulate the activity of IFN alpha in systemic lupus erythematosus.